Yet another vindication of Mazen Namdekan. What are you waiting for to support the freedom of Mazen Namdekan? We told you this from the time of PVC, PVC, that this is going to happen. Exactly, Mazen Namdekan has said it how many years ago? About uh, ten, uh, eight years ago. He said he told you who will be the next president, and he told you that nothing you can do about it. And all the script is playing exactly verbatim word to word. God knows. We told you. Because of that, they saw a prophet of our time. They pick him up. Ordinary rendition him from Kenya and they put him in jail. This same court yes, that did this yesterday is the one. They are the ones who judge all the cases. They are the ones who are keeping him where he is today. They use them. And they are continue using them against your wits. All our petitions are studies. Those that are there now, they are doing it for their tribe. They are doing it for their religion. They are doing it for themselves. What about your own politicians? What are they doing, being coward for? Are they coward for you? Are they being coward for what? You know, leading you to hell. Don't worry, the next will be, hey, prepare to go to the Supreme Court. We are going to get it there. Then you waste your time, waste your life, waste your energy, waste everything you have. You wait for the Supreme Court. They will drag you, drag you, give you false hope. Then in the end, they will dash that hope. They will nail you in that coffin, in that cross that they have been prepared for you. This is how it is. Nigeria is never going to work for you. It might be working for them, for others, those who are there now, sharing the power as they like. Sharing Nigeria, sharing the cake, sharing everything. The only thing they do is to divide you and rule you. And you stay there. Somebody come out to, to lead you. You are the ones who, who allow them who are allowing them to do with him whatever they want. We tell you, let's engage, embark on civil disobedience. No. You turn around and say you are obedient. <laughs> you will be obedient. They will do what? They will do it for you front and back. And you continue to be obedient. You will be royal next time will be royal to them and they will be hoping that <laughs> you will continue to be loyal or else you know what it is you know what time it is my brothers and sisters wake up let's join hands together and push for the freedom of an innocent man if anything happened to Martin Nandekan his blood will be on all of you who knows what to do and you don't want to do it? Your families, your generation will never know peace. And it will take, and it will take generations to, for God to send another prophet to us. It's, it's not a threat, but it's, it's, that's, that's what it is. I'm telling you now, you might think that I'm, I'm just talking a, a, a gibberish, but in the end, all this I'm telling you will come to pass. That's the truth. Mazin Nandekano have been vindicated once again and again and again. How many times will he be vindicated? How many times? That's why I support anything to make sure that that man is free. He's innocent. He is very innocent of all these crimes. Even in their court, he defeated them everywhere. But still, because of their evil, which you support, 
You support their evil. What is wrong with you? Mr. Peter will be, they use you to kill, to incarcerate an innocent man, to kill the, the freedom that we are, we are about to get. We are there almost. They use you. They deceive you and you go and deceive others. Every death in this charade, everything that happened is on your head. The blood of innocent people killed because of all this charade that you know the results in the end. You think you can be lucky like good luck? Good luck was lucky because they haven't awoken. They haven't completely taken over the state. But now it's complete. They have completed the cycle. So <laughs> you can be lucky. Never will you be lucky in this atmosphere. You cannot. Serve the zoo. As in the canoe said, and come back in shame. Serve Nigeria, and you come back in shame. Look at Emefiere right now. The next thing they will do is that they will put you in jail, Peter will be. They will put you in jail. Just know that. Write, write it down. Write it down, they will put you in jail or you, unless you run away to exile. And if nothing is done, they will even come there and extraordinary rendition you back to Nigeria and keep you in jail. Exactly what happened to Mazen Nambikano will happen to you. Just watch. You will see. Then you know who you are playing with. The lives of millions of people who want to be free, deceive them. That hey. This is the best way. Where are you now? What are you telling them? What are you telling them right now? Let's go to Spring Court. Hi, we will go to Spring Court. We will get it there. Don't worry. I become everybody. No, oh, we are, we will not uh, make a problem. Let's uh, follow it meticulously. We will get it in the Spring Court. I know we have all the evidence. You know, they, they will be sending you around all the, 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 the news media to legitimize their, their fraud. And you are shamelessly doing that. Shamelessly with all your colleagues doing it. Deceive the Christians, deceive the Easterners, deceive everybody around the, the world that, you know, this it will work. As if you don't know that it will never work. As if you don't know already that once they read you out from PDP that the game is on, it will be, you know it. You know it, but still, you, go out, you play along with it, hoping that somehow, somehow, <laughs> God, I pity you, man, and all your followers. Now, I hope that you shamelessly come back and fight for that freedom that everybody deserves, that everybody is craving for. A freedom. Freedom to be who you are. Freedom to live. Freedom to exist. Freedom. 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 Not all this charade you people are doing. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. It's not going to work. It will never work. You know that it's not gonna walk why are you doing it why are you deceiving the people why look at look at look at your environment look at what is happening look at all the all they have captured the state this is called state capture they don't even want to to hear restructuring anymore they don't want to restructure anything they don't they don't want to even change the constitution so even to amend it now, they will, not, they will even be adding more stringent measures. They can change the goalpost at the middle of the game at any time. There's nothing you can do about it. We told you that. We told you that. Mazin Namdekanu told you. Don't want to listen. Look at that. Look at you. Look at you. 
Just look at you. Go to the mirror and look at yourself. And tell me what you're seeing. If you are not looking at a fool, a big one at that, a fool, 